Oh, hello there. And how are you doing? Oh, you're all well. Very good. So am I. But I'm still in quarantine, so that's the way it goes. This is still week 17, you know. 17 weeks in lockdown. Oh, well. I'm going to escape again. Now, today's flight is going to be from Dublin, E-I-D-W, and we're going to go to Newcastle-upon-Tyne. That's E-G-N-T. And it was suggested by one of the subscribers, so I'm happy to do that. I was also asked if I would give a little bit more detail, too, on how to program the FMC. So, I think I shall. So, if you're ready, Oh yes, you are. Jolly good. Right. Well then, let's get ready. This is our route. There's Dublin. And there's Newcastle. And I'm checked the weather. It's not going to be bad. It's a little blustery. There's going to be some cloud. If I had a motion simulator, then I would be bouncing about a bit. But it's not all that bad. So, if you're ready, Let's go. Oh, I almost forgot. The flight I'm going to mimic is Ryanair flight. It's a real Ryanair flight. <laughs> Ryanair flight 172, as a matter of fact. And it goes from Dublin to Newcastle. It's about 50 minutes in the air or um, an hour and 10 minutes block time. That particular flight left from Pier 1 and Gate 111. The cost for a one-way flight, a single flight to go to Newcastle from Dublin, was 14 quid, 14 pounds. Well, we're going to do it better. For us, it's free. And we provide champagne and caviar. You just have to bring your own glasses. <laughs> Uh, drinking glasses, that is. <laughs> okay, let's go then. Okay, first thing we do, we turn on the battery power. We see that we have some voltage up here, but we need to get some higher voltage. Sometimes, of course, we can get ground power, but it takes time to get to us, so we're going to start the APU. And what we'll do is we'll watch for this to rise, and then it will fall back. This is the EGT. And when it does, then we can turn on the APU to feed this bus with 115 volts. There we go, it's sweeping up. And in a moment it will come down and this blue light will come on. And that indicates that there's 115 volts available if we select it. Okay. There it is. Push both of those. Now we have 115 volts in here. Okay. Good. Now we can turn the galley on. Important to get a cup of tea. Emergency exit lights. No smoking. Fasten seat belts. 
Next thing we'll do is we'll turn on, up here we'll turn on the IRS. That's our GPS location. So we want to make sure that we get that warmed up. Over here, window heat, left and right. <coughs> and there's the probe. Now we turn on the bleeds <coughs> and the air conditioning. This light and this light, this light indicates the air stairs are down and this that is the forward service hatch is open. Okay, next thing we'll do Turn on the steady light so that people will know that there's somebody in here and that we are getting ready to power up. Okay. Now we'll take a little extra time today to go through the programming of the FMC. Now programming the FMC is not hard at all. But we'll do it the long way today rather than take all the PMDG shortcuts. So the first thing we need to do is we need to put our position in. And we need to give our reference to the airport. And we are EIDW. And we happen to be at gate 111. And it comes up with this. Now that's what the database on the inside of the FMC says is our actual starting location. But if we go to the Navigraph charts and go to the parking stand coordinates, it says for a 111, it should be north 53.25.9 and 06.15.1. That doesn't look like it. Let's have a... I'm going to go down on the next page button. <coughs> now you can see that in here, the IRS, our GPS, has picked up exactly our location. So we're going to select that, and it goes into the temporary memory. Go back to previous page and put it in there. Now next we're going to go into root, the origin, and as I said before, you know, if we press this, it will come up with the um, program that's built into PMDG, but we're going to do it the long way today. So we're going to be departing, I believe, on runway 28. Now to find out, let's tune in to... ATIS and find out what they say. Dublin International Airport Information Golf 0857 Zulu Wind 242 at 1 1 Visibility greater than 20 miles Sky condition few clouds at 1800 Ceiling 2300 Broken Temperature 8 2.4 altimeter 9er 9 8 Landing and departing Runway 28 VFR aircraft say direction of flight. All aircraft read back hold short instructions. Advise controller on initial contact you have. Golf. Well, that is golf. And it says that we will be departing runway 28. It also tells us that our altimeter is 998. So we'll put 998. There we go. Now, with our destination, we're leaving runway 28, so we'll put 28 in there. So 28 in the runway. Our destination is EGNT, Newcastle. The flight number is RYR186. Now I know that we're following. Uh, previous flight of Ryanair 172, but we 
this particular one is 186. Now we go down to the next page. We stay on this root page, go down to the next page. And now we start to put in the information. So we're going to go to Liffey. That's our first point. And put that in. So it's direct to Liffey. And then we're going to go via Q36. So we'll put Q36 in. That's the airway. And then we're going to go to Alava. Wonder where they get all of these names from. My goodness me. Now to Alava, the next point that we go to is Gokov. So we'll put Gokov in. K O V. Direct to Gokov. Now the program tells us, or the flight brief tells us, that we need to be going in on the Pole Hill 1 North. But we're going to be intercepting that one, which of course then is going to come up with an extra waypoint that is not going to be the one that we need. So we're going, going in and having a look at page 7 of our flight brief. And here you can see that the next one that we should be intercepting is going to be IRKOR, I-R-K-O-R, I-R-K-O-R. Put that in, and then it says we're at XODRU, so XODRU. Are you? And go next page to get up. And then the final point to put in is et says. So ET and then SES. And then we're going to activate that. Okay. Now the next thing that we will do is we'll go into the legs. We'll come back to the route in a moment, but we'll go to legs at this point. And rather we're going to go to fix. And our destination is EG and T. And this is where we put the the 4 mile circle, the 10 mile circle and the 30 mile circle around our destination. So, slash 4, slash 10, slash 30. The 4 we're putting in here because that's when Ryanair wants you to actually lower the gear. It's at the last possible moment before landing. So it saves on fuel. The 10, because we need to be in that 10 mile circle, we need to have our speed and all the flaps and everything set ready to go for landing. The 30 mile, um, Lockheed Martin has built into the system, into P3D, a sort of an inhibitor. You cannot pick up the tower of an airport outside of 30 miles. So I put the 30 mile one in there to tell me that when I'm inside that circle I can contact the tower to get ground clearance. <coughs> now I'm going to push the descent. I'm going to go into the forecast and here in these altitudes I'm going to put three levels. The flight level 200, there it comes up, flight level 150, and the flight level 100. If we go now on to page 10, it will tell us what the 
destination Q and H is, and it says it's 1017. I'm going to check that by listening in to the weather forecast coming directly from Newcastle. Echo Gulf, November, Tango, Airport Information, Charlie, one, zero, five, zero, Zulu, weather, wind, two, four, zero, at, one, two, visibility, one, zero, thousand, sky condition, two, thousand, four, hundred, scattered, temperature, eight, two point five, Q and H, zero, niner, niner, five, advise on initial contact, zero, niner, niner, five, so it's changed. So we'll put that in there. So things have changed since the brief was given. Now we go to page 8 and we're going to look at the descent and we'll see that opposite 200 we've got the figures 248 at 35 knots. So 248, 35 and we'll put that in here. 25231 And then 250 at 24. And then we execute that. Now this is locked in and it helps. The onboard computer is going to use all of this information to calculate our route. Now, go to departure and arrival. It's already set for runway 28. All we need to do now is to select the Liffey 5A departure. So we'll just go down. There we are, Liffey 5A. And we'll put that in, execute that. And then at the arrival, We'll be coming in on ILS 25, and we'll leave it at that for the moment. We, we're going to be coming in on the Pole Hill 1 North, but we've already put in the fixes for that, so we don't need to put in the second one. So we will execute that. Now we'll go to the legs. Here's where it gets to be fun. Now I'm just going to... Uh, zoom back a bit here and I'm going to select on here I'm going to select plan now down here this has changed and it's allowing me to now do what they call a step so if I push this it's now going to go through each of the points on here and we're going to find out whether or not our magenta line is good all the way through and here are all of the waypoints. There's Alaba, there's Gokov, there's Irko. <laughs> and I don't know how you would pronounce XODRU, but anyway. And there is Estes. Okay. If we go past that, it looks like this is the end of the approach or the start of the approach for the runway. Now if we put this, and then do that, and execute, you can see that it's going to come up with a curve. What we want to do is we don't want the curve to go that way. This is our route. We want to be able to come out here somewhere, and then go to CF25 from another location. Make it a more gentle curve. So the first thing we'll do is we'll push the CF25 button, and it comes in at the bottom. Now north is 360, this is 180, that's 90, so we pick a point here. Let's pick a point at um, 160. So we'll put 160, we'll do a slash and a 4. Now the slash is to separate the number four, which is four miles. And then we'll push that up here. It comes up with waypoints, and we will push the top one. And here is how we put in an extra waypoint. See, it came up right there. So now we 
bring that up. There's the dotted line. If we like that, all we've got to do is push that and now we have this nice curved line bringing us in to the runway. Easy peasy, as they say. So everything is set. Now we go back to the root. And we want to now perform the initialization. So we push this button. Here's where we have to put in our planned fuel. Now if we take the uh, reserves, which is 3.448, plus the trip and taxi, it gives us 5,913. So that would be 5.9. So 5.9, and we'll put that in right there. Our reserves, as we found out, is 3.4. Put that in there. Double click that, and it brings in, it calculates the zero, uh, zero fuel weight for us. Cost index is 10, because we're Ryanair. Our flight today is at 290. Flight level 290, so we'll put that up there. The cruise wind, according to the trip, uh, to the briefing, is 243 at 27. Put that in there. The transition altitude at Dublin is 5,000 feet. So we'll put that in there and then execute that. The N1 limit. We're eight degrees outside, so we'll accept that. So slash eight, it goes into a heavier figure. And then go to takeoff. It's a long runway, so we can do a flat five. And it's dry. If we push the next page down, it gives us a choice between dry and wet. But since it's dry, dry is what we'll take. And then let's calculate what the center of gravity is by pushing that twice. So that means now the trim will need to be set for 4.76. And that's the trim wheel indicator on the, um, on the fuel quadrant. Push once on each of these. And now we have our planned flight. It's all set up, ready to go. Well, now we need to just program the, the MCP and our course. Now, if we're departing on runway 28, runway 28 is 278 degrees, so we'll put 278 in here and in here. And over here for the co-pilot, 278. <coughs> Our MAC is 144. So we'll put that in here. Put the flight directors on and then check. Look at this. We have two green buttons, which is good. We will arm it. And we'll be flying on BOR. OR1. Here. And up here we're going to put in our cruising altitude which is 29,000. The runway elevation at Newcastle is 239. So 250 is set then for the landing elevation. And the equipment lights have gone off, so now we'll contact ground. And we're departing, going to the east. Dublin ground, Ryanair 186 with Juliet. Request taxi to the active east departure. 
Ryanair 186, taxi two and hold shorter runway two eight via taxiway Charlie Foxtrot India November November Echo Romeo Foxtrot three Foxtrot two Foxtrot one Echo one contact tower on one one eight point six when ready. Taxiing hold short runway two eight using taxiway Charlie Foxtrot India November November Echo Romeo Foxtrot three Foxtrot two Foxtrot one Echo one Ryanair one eight six. Well, there's a lot of. Uh points there to go but I know the way so we'll be fine okay next I need to do is do the pushback and we'll push back straight and as we do we will start the engines today we're going to start with engine number two so I'm going to turn this to the generator two push the brake off and then start the pushback and turn off the air conditioning. Turn on the ground and now we're beginning to spool up and what I'm doing is I'm looking for 24 on the N2 and then when it gets to 24 I'm going to introduce the fuel there's 24 so move the fuel lever up to idle and let's see we should start to see in a moment 115 volts appear up here to say that we are up. Ah, there it is. We're generating. Looks like we have a good burn. Now we'll do it with engine number one. Switch to engine number one up here. get to 24 I'll introduce the fuel there's 24 bring in the fuel looking over here making sure that the EGT is rising and that we everything is good Every, got a good start that's good Hundred and fifteen volts, turn that off, stop the pushback, put on the brake, and now we've got th these two lights are on. Double so ground, orbit three 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 three, request taxi to parking. Orbit 3333, taxi 2, general aviation parking via taxiway, Sierra 3, Sierra Whiskey 2, Whiskey 3. So now we switch to general aviation parking using taxiway Sierra 3 Sierra Whiskey 2 Whiskey 3 orbit 3333 three, three, three. So now we can switch on to the main engines and we won't be using uh, this any longer So the next thing we'll need to do is we'll turn on the air conditioning turn off the APU and turn that off at that point. Turn on the taxi lights. Let's give a little bell to the attendants. Tell them that we're getting ready to move. get unstuck
got to watch out for those kamikaze buses, you know. Sorry about the frame rate. It's not particularly brilliant, but I am working on getting a second computer. That hopefully will give much better graphics for the external views. Right. We'll put the brake to RTO. Flaps 5. Have a yellow light and now we have a green light. Good. So flaps are deployed. getting ready to turn on to runway 28 so I'm going to tune in Dublin Tower and get ready to have our clearance to take
Now we'll move out into the into the runway and get ourselves ready for takeoff. Advance the power to N1. Looks good. Toga button push. And here we go. One rotates. Me too. We have positive rate. Gear up. RTO off. Ryanair 186, you are leaving my airspace. Frequency change approved. And engage the autopilot. That's the middle marker that we're hearing. And flaps up. Release the crew to work. Transition is looking good. our altitude and just are heading here to the new one nine four signed out.
coming up on 10,000 feet, you'll turn off all the uh, landing and aircraft lights. That's got it. And we'll turn off the seatbelt sign so that the passengers can have a walkabout. Now we're all trimmed and on course everything is looking good. Should check, check, yes. Climbing through twenty-two thousand feet.
airport information. Delta 10500, weather wind 240, at 12, visibility 10,000, sky condition 2,400, scattered temperature 82.5, QNH 0995, advise on initial contact, you have information, Delta. Echo Gulf, November, Tango, Airport Information, Delta 1050, Zulu, Weather, Wind 240, at 12, Visibility 10,000, Sky Condition 2,400, Scattered Temperature 82.5, QNH 0995, Advise on Initial. Well, we've started our descent, and you can see the North Sea over there. And right now, we're still over the top of the English of the Irish Sea, so not very wide at this point of the country. in the air. I think I better put the seatbelt signs on. It's not exactly the smoothest air at the moment.
the weather forecast is saying that there is a cloud level all the way down to 2,500 feet. So we can expect instrument conditions. Pressurization landing is check. Seatbelt signs on and check. Recall and check. Auto brake is on, check. Landing data, check. Auto briefing completed. Auto brake number three is set. Okay. Descent checklist is complete.
Newcastle, airport information, Yankee, 1004, Zulu, wind, 241, at 1, 2, visibility, greater than 20 miles, sky condition, 2400, scattered, temperature, 8, dew point, altimeter, 5, niner, niner, 5, landing and departing, runway, 2, 5, BFR aircraft, say direction of flight, all aircraft read back, hold short instructions, advise controller on initial contact you have, Yankee. Well, there's the ATIS for Newcastle. We are set for runway 25 and the altimeter is 9 and 9 of 5.
Newcastle Tower, Ryanair 186 is 30 miles south with Yankee to land. Ryanair 186, Newcastle Tower, make left traffic, runway 25, altimeter 9907. Fly left traffic, runway 25, Ryanair 186. Well, we have our landing clearance. The lights are on. We are just approaching 10,000 feet. Tell the crew that we are on the final leg. Okay, engine start switches are continuous, check. Altimeters, q and check. Nav aids are all set and check. All right. Approach is all check. Ready for takeoff, IFR2 Glasgow. Orbit 7682, cleared for takeoff, runway 25. Cleared for takeoff, runway 25, orbit 7682. To contact Newcastle departure on 124.375. Going to 124.375, orbit 7682. Newcastle Tower, orbit 6064, ready to go. Runway 25, IFR2, Balmol House. Orbit 6064, cleared for takeoff, runway 25. Cleared for takeoff, runway 25, orbit 6064.
Charlotte 6064, contact Newcastle departure on 124.375. Going to 124.375, orbit 6064. Yeah. 
Airport is in sight. Cabin secure, speed brake lever, green light check, landing gear down, and three green lights, flaps, green check, landing checklist is complete. Reset the altimeter to 4,000 feet in case we have to do a missed approach. Cabin attendants, secure for landing. Ryanair 186, clear to land, runway 25. Clear to land, runway 25, Ryanair 186. Well, we have our clearance. bumpy but we're on the glide slope all lights on
186, turn next taxiway. Ryanair 186, contact ground on 121.725. Going to 121.725, Ryanair 186. Welcome to Newcastle. And we'll open the doors and let down the stairs. for a bottle of Newcastle brown ale. That's what we shall do. So let's finish the shutdown. Okay, and it's all off, 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 off. And shutdown is complete.